It's great to have you on. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Is your chair about to fall over there? Yeah, it kind of <laughs> was. Kind of made me slip. <laughs> so explain uh, what you do at Center Technologies. Uh, I started Center Technologies about five years ago. Okay. Um, uh, we're, we focus on the infrastructure, so we focus on, uh, you know, really anything from client devices all the way up into the server stack, the storage stack, okay. uh, really heavily, heavily focused in virtualization, um, and uh, we're very service-oriented rather than, you know, your typical VAR that's, uh, you, you know, out to, uh, you, you know, kind of order fulfillment type of deal. You're so not a box flipper, huh? We're not a box flipper. Yeah. We're not, we're, we're actually not the, the best at, at box flipping. Uh, we're, we're better, uh, we, we really try to get in with the clients and provide a lot of value. Um, so it's, it's, you know, if somebody's looking at us to do that box flipping, you know, we're, we're gonna come across as very, very aggressive because we're trying to ask them questions on, you know, why are, have you looked at doing it this way? Um, you know, really try to, um, you know, on any any deal we walk into, we're gonna we're gonna try to really look at, uh, uh, you know, take it as a whole. Really, what are you trying to do? Um, and and let's uh, wrap a whole solution around it, right? A lot of times, you know, we'll get uh, clients that, that that ping us and say, "I want virtualization." Well, let's look at the whole thing and and let's put together the the best package we can for you. Okay. So. And you're a customer of Dell then? We're a customer of Dell. Uh, we, we previously were not before the Dell acquisition. Okay, um, okay. So we, 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 <laughs> we started with Compellent, We right? started with Compellent okay. um, and, and kind of kind of moved in with the Dell with the, the acquisition. So we're, ah. we're a Dell customer by marriage, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We couldn't really get that divorce from Compellent, so we, 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 we've been forced on this side. So. Uh, okay. But, it, but it's, it, it's been good, actually, to, yeah. to be honest with you. I, I think... Uh, uh, when I first got that call at seven in the morning, it basically says, "Hey, we've just been acquired by Dell." It was like, "Ouch!" Right? You know, it's a yeah. uh, um, this market's very uh, relationship driven. Right. We had no relationships in with Dell, and uh, we we quickly turned that around. And 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 really, Dell is very channel focused, um, which is you know different than the other large manufacturers, in my How opinion. How so? Now. What? Yeah. Where where do you see you know the channel focus? What are they doing exactly? Well, they're they're trying. I think they realize that they've got uh, they've got more that their people can handle, and I think they're looking for outside expertise, um, especially from the the storage side, right? I mean, we're going to possess something that they don't have, but now that they kind of look at us, they say, okay, well, can you start doing these other things, these virtualization? Yeah. Um, and um, they're moving a lot of their business to the channel, and and so. Uh, we're seeing um, uh, a lot of progress actually dealing with the, uh, the direct reps, um, the LEs, the, the SMB reps that are on the street. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so it's like sell with guy folks? Yeah, we'll, we'll go, really what they we're gonna- sell with you or, yeah, or no? Really what we're gonna do is we're gonna do more of that heavy lifting for yeah. them. Okay. And, and so because we're not that order fulfillment, we're not just looking for these leads so that I can put it on my paper and, and pass it back to the customer and turn around and walk away. Yeah. We're gonna make sure the implementation's done right. right. Um, you know, at, at the end of the day, if you make sure the implementation's done right, it typically grows, right? Because yeah. it's done right, the client's fully utilizing it. They're getting the full, uh, full value out of what's been provided to them, and it and it and it typically is something that grows and not just you know sits on a shelf, so to say. How'd you find Compellent, or did Compellent find you, or did um, you start around? You didn't start around the same time. No, no. 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 So we um, th uh, about three years ago, um, there was a particular individual named Greg Edwards uh, yeah. that uh, uh, he's a great. Uh, uh, compellent reference so he he went from Foster. Harris County yeah he, he so he went from Harris County to compellent back to Harris County and now he just joined Dell um, but uh, I can't make he, up his mind whether he wants to be on the supplier yeah, exactly. or customer side. Uh, <laughs> so it, when I um, when I started, he just wants to see both sides. Yeah, he just wants to see both sides. Absolutely, and he, he doesn't. He does. and, and he's a heck of a salesman when it comes to uh, helping us with reference calls. Okay. So, uh, yeah. um, but he reached out to to me um, when I started Center Technologies, and he kind of said, "What is your storage practice?" And um, I, I've worked with with HP EVAs. I've worked with all okay. the storage out there, yep. actually, you know, from a technology uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw the feature functions that it provided and how it would benefit organizations. Um, and so we signed up as a partner with them okay. and, and kind of went running from there. Are you also an HP reseller? We're, we're an HP reseller. I mean, that's okay. kind of dying down as our relationship okay. is moving, you know, more, uh, more onto the... 
uh, on onto the Dell side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. The, the conference itself, uh, are you enjoying it so far? Or yeah, are you... I yeah, I think this is the second one. I went to Sea Drive last year in Minnesota. Okay, you did. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 the conference is good. I think the message is good. I think, uh, um, you know, really the, the overall, uh, I would imagine the over, overall goal of this conference is really, you know, me not coming as, you know, I'm only going for, for compelling, but really to see the, the entire Dell storage stack rather than just see yeah. a, it as compellent, right. you know? So did you look yeah, at the course. Ecologic sure. Solutions? Sure, and we've already, um, we've already, uh, so, so the, the, the acquisition was kind of exciting for us. I yeah. mean, you, you got to imagine that, you know, let's say 10, 15, 20% of the deals that we would go into with compellent, yeah. we were competing against Equalogic where, you know, there, there are places where Equalogic is absolutely a fit. Um, it, it allows us as a business to have more tools in our bag to be able to provide our customers, and and so we you know we go in and and, and push the Equalogic line as well. Okay. I mean, it's a it's a great storage. It's, it's a different fit in different situations. So have you got the sort of education training now on where to position one versus the other? Yep. And yep. So we can we you give um, us a synopsis of that. Yeah. So so really, um, if you kind of look at it and kind of what I, what I feel, um, you know, it's an ice guzzy fiber channel, right? That's a question you ask that okay. ask the customer, which one do you need? Which one do your application supports? Because there are some applications that do not support iSCSI. Okay. And then it's, you know, how big are you going to scale and where you're going to grow to? Yeah. Um, where the Equalogic has software, you know, pre-bundled in. Yeah. Um, the Compellent is bundled outside, but you're, you become an enterprise license at 96 disks. So when you start okay. getting to three or four Equalogic bricks, you need to start going into the compelling. It actually hmm. makes financial sense to move that way. How okay. interesting. That's, okay, that's a, maybe an earlier transition than I might have thought. Yeah. So, uh, well, it, it, that's that's for me sitting down yeah. running the numbers right when the acquisition okay. happened and seeing <laughs> where can I, because they have similar, right. they really have similar messages, right? Yeah. The, the, the way Easy it scales, use, ab absolutely. And, and I've talked to petabyte, petabyte sure. level and, and it, ecologic customers. And, it, and it's absolutely out there. Um, it, it's just going to come where where does each one fit? And so yep. I sat down and, and ran the numbers and and you know kind of said you know where are we going to fit each one? I, I think within our organization that was a that was a big question that was always arising. Well, where right. do I? You know, we used to go in only compellent, compellent this, compellent right. that. And now right. we go in and we have these multiple tools. And so, what about the scalable file system? That's on the Equalogic box today, but so, not yet on not yet on compellent. Right. There's also on the uh, uh, on on the on the on the low end box, which, which Power Vault. Power Vault. Thank yep. you. Yeah. So. so so we're absolutely excited about that because that mm -hmm. that allows us to compete with NetApp. Okay. So uh, if you want me to be she, frank, there it is. I don't want you to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do it. I mean, I mean, uh, you, you know, NetApp is a uh, uh, you know where they ran. Uh, they were they started off as a NAS company and moved into the SAN. Yep. You know, most of the the, the devices we're looking at today started off as a SAN and yep. and. You know, moving into that NAS and that 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 Xnet product, um, that scalable file system product, really adds to that portfolio. So it's okay. huge, and we're always getting questions for that. And is that embedded right into the box, or is it an add-on head? Or I, no, I haven't no, been no, able yeah. okay. I haven't been okay. able to detail. I okay. know when they announced it. We'll get, uh, a tech guy. we'll get a tech guy. I won't put you on the spot. Yeah. That. That's <laughs> well, we've already I asked really, for demos, so okay. so we fired okay. off emails Have today. You, okay. Have you been in the hands-on lab? Yeah. I, I haven't had a chance to go in, no. Oh, go you in? have to go, because apparently they're amazing, and everybody's yep. getting everybody's a talking. lot out of Every, it. Yeah. yeah, everybody's talking about it, so, yeah. so that's good. All right, and your virtualization practice, thats you sort of started on server virtualization? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's a big piece to our business, um, where we're going we're gonna to focus on VMware when it comes to the servers. Um, and then, you know, there's multiple types of, of, of virtualization, right? You got desktop virtualization, application virtualization, and server. Yeah. Um, so we think uh, Citrix does a really, really good job on the desktop and the application virtualization. Okay. Um, so we, we have strong practices with VMware and Citrix. Okay. So I know it's the, you know, only first day for you and you haven't been to, to everything, but so far you did mention that you went to the keynote mm -hmm. uh, this morning. What is the one takeaway from from that keynote or from the conference itself so far? Um, really, it's that 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 fluid design, right? And how the how they're. I mean, I know Where's everybody that says that. Again? Yeah, I mean, 
We've heard that word for like. I mean, that was the whole <laughs> thing. That was compelling. Right? Well, that was the that was the drive of that was the marketing pitch of C Drive last year, right? Oh. So I mean, everything okay. we're seeing, we're we're kind of reseeing it. But right. um, it, it's uh, my biggest takeaway that that I can bring back to the organization is really how do all these products fit together, okay. and then how you know the the two reasons that I came here was that Exonet. And, yep. and the Ocarina, I really wanted to learn about those two products okay. and how are they going to fit into that entire stack. And uh, that's what uh, my biggest takeaway is going to yeah. be is um, I, I came Sunday on the, the CPAC, the Compellent Channel uh, Partner Council or yep. whatever. And, and so we got, uh, you know, we were kind of briefed on all that um, before and got to get really educated in those areas. So when so. we're talking about dedupe and things like that, so yeah. Ocarina and data reduction and mm -hmm. compression, you must be coming up against data domain mm -hmm. kind of products, or who else do you come up so, against? So, or do you resell so data we, domain? We, no, 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 no <laughs> EMC products for us. <laughs> no, ne never an EMC product. Okay. No, so we we resell uh, Exagrid. Okay. Um, Exagrid is going to be very very similar to a to a Equalogic. It's a grid, as in its name. It it scales with you. Um, okay. Never really getting left behind on technology. As you scale it, you add performance. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a really similar message to um, the uh, uh, the Equalogic line. Um, we 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 lead from that from a from a backup appliance. But we are we are definitely interested in this Ocarina and where it plays. Okay. I'm not so certain just yet it really plays into that that backup world right i mean it, yeah. it's 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 how they combine all this together do you doing much in the area of remote replication it's kind of designed for remote replication things so like that? most of our most of our most of our customers um i'd say 98 percent of them uh don't just have one system they have multiple systems and then uh, if our customers can only afford one system, we actually developed a, a managed service model uh, where we partnered with uh, Cyrus One Data Center. Okay. Um, and, and we rent a, a cage within there and we allow them to remote um, to, to remote to our compellent or our equal logic. Okay. And, and we, uh, we are their, their DR at that point. Okay. So um, the way uh, we go a little bit beyond DR. We we go. Uh, we provide these clients with business continuity, and the way we do that is is you know we'll spin their environment up, and and we'll pass their applications back to them via Citrix, okay. and and be able to have that remote access to them. Okay. So. Awesome. Anything else? Well, you and you I were talking. You and I were talking about uh, you know end devices and convergence, yeah. and I'm just curious from your customers. Uh, so you you've, you've got. You got laptops, and you've got and, and you've got more and more of these kinds of devices that are being used. And, and I don't know how many different platforms you got. You got tablets, and you've got uh, smartphones. Are you managing those environments for some of your customers, or okay. helping them doing the design? Sure. And 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 really, how uh, if, if you think about how do you how do you do that? So all these devices are great. We have the hardware of the devices, but how do I get the applications to right. you? Uh, really all comes down to that that virtualized application. Right. So how can I run the applications out of a core central location, update at one time, and then pass it to all my clients? Yeah. Um, so we're kind of going back from, you know, we're, we're, we're really going back to those green screen mainframe days, right? right. And, sort and, of. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. if you look at it, I mean, the, the world uh, uh, works in mysterious cycles, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. Um, but So... Um, are you using the Citrix product we're, for that? Yeah, we're, you, we're, we're using the Citrix product for that, for, um, the, for the app. Which is called? Zen app. Was, okay. Zen app. Yep. Okay. There was another Citrix product that you were talking yeah, about yesterday. Yeah, the I Dave Cahill had done it um, right it was on. Zen desktop? No. 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 It, was, it ha didn't have Zen in it? They all have no. Zen. Anyway. Yeah. But, but, but Dell's got a solution called case have you looked at that we we have looked at it and we okay. have uh we have brought them in to talk to them okay. um and and where we kind of saw a fit for that was was a um client device deployment okay right More where we're we're, we're we're going to take a little different approach to yep. it and we're going to give you a dumb device we don't care what device is we're going to give you a rubik's cube and a, yep. and a monitor for you to view okay and then we're going to from a central location we're going to pass the application back to you okay uh the key to that is you know one one time to update right we, we get the update to all the clients it's uh uh client delivery or, or application delivery 
Um, you, you know, if there's a new application that we need to deploy to a new client, it's a simple F5 on the keyboard or reboot, or yeah. there it is. Yeah. So. Understanding the network's pretty important there. Sure. And network <laughs> performance. Sorry, I've just lived some pain recently. Sure. So, <laughs> bad network, so, yeah. So, do you have a big networking practice as well, or? That's growing, that's growing. So we're, we're really our core competency really, you know, relied in the, in the server, virtualization, storage, um, you know, uh, Citrix, Microsoft practice. Uh, it's, uh, we're growing that on the, uh, the networking side and really starting to get into to much larger projects from a networking perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, any advice for, um, any, any advice for, for someone who's sort of looking to actually why would you ever want to do this enable a competitor yeah, well, i was going to say <laughs> you're you just about to ask him for advice on startups to so, get into so, the place that he are <laughs> <laughs> for, for for someone in europe you know who wanted to start up a reseller you know start up an integrator s similar to you what would be the number one advice for be, you? be different yeah. i mean there there's there's a million cdw insight and shis out there there's yeah. a million of them so some way you have to be different and differentiate yourself and and really it, it's got to come back to you know you know we're, we're called vars right where i think that term var has gotten lost i really think it's a volume added reseller um and uh really find a way how can you add that value add back to the yeah. clients because that's truly what they're looking for and they want uh, clients from the want a partner side and from the supplier so, so side, right? sure the customers want a true partner yeah. Um, they don't want just the order fulfillment. So, it, you know, if you're starting up a, a company like this, you got to find a way to be different. Did you start out that way, or did yeah. you well, I, adjust? I, I, so, I, so I worked with uh, several uh, different consulting companies, and I kind of saw the way they did business, and saw that I really don't think that I was giving the client 100% mm -hmm. um, of the value that I should have brought to okay. them. Um, so yeah, I started an organization based on how am I going to give that back, and and really it's it's um, you, you really have to, you know, you don't have to focus on price all the time, right? If I yeah. beat you by a penny, does that mean that our our configurations are the same? They're right. not, right. and 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 really it's it's adding that value back, and then you're not so focused on price anymore. Okay. Um, so that that's uh, and, and I don't to be honest with you, I don't mind helping people out. I mean, it doesn't bother me to say this. It's it's really the delivery that makes it happen, right? right. And and from what I've seen in the industry, I don't see that many, uh, or and I'm a little biased, of course, but I, I don't <laughs> see that many organizations on the delivery side of this. Yeah. Everybody goes out and says, I, I, you know, they'll go into a meeting, oh, I want to have a relationship with you, and come on. I mean, let's let's all be honest. It's It's all about, can you deliver that? Yeah. So, and obviously, you guys have. Well, we we ask for the opportunity, and and if given the opportunity, um, that's all we ask for is is to be granted a, an opportunity. If we are given the opportunity, we're going to get in there and prove ourselves. I mean, clearly, as uh, I think you're Compellent's largest reseller in the South. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, I think we were with you know, I think Dell's numbers are are blowing that up. So I don't know where it stands <laughs> today. But, okay. but we're we were you know for the previous two years so we've been partners with them for three years we're okay. top five and we floated between two and five okay so you can still call phil directly yep okay Good. Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 or email him actually he was great through this compelling acquisition we had a customer that was a purely an hp shop yeah. and i uh, sent uh, and, and he sent me an email and said i i, I hate i hate dell is there any way that you can uh <laughs> is there any way you can sell me something else and he was really joking and and actually phil soren reached out to him and yeah. and uh Gave him a call, and then you know something that was. Uh, so I sent the email to Phil, and I was like, I, I need, you know, I need you to call this yeah, guy right. to calm him down. And and uh, so he gave him a call, and then actually the day the uh, acquisition was final, yeah. he called him at 5:30 again, and just wanted to make sure he was okay, and and you know let him know that we're not going to stop the innovation yeah. of the product, and we're going to continue it. And um, you know I think uh, uh, you know we all. You know, the, I think the the Dell is 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 definitely moving in the in in the direction that that Vars really like to see him go in. Yeah. So it's a different talk than I think I probably could have had three years ago. It's, it's sounds like it. It's very positive now. Yeah. That's great. And I'm not just saying it because there's a mic in front of me. It really is positive. It's the camera. <laughs> it's the it's, yeah, it's, it's, the, the it's it's the lights. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's being <laughs> in the middle here. You know, I feel hanging up on yeah, you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the light, Mac. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, Chris, thank you so much. Thank you. We really you. appreciate your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Don't forget to do those hands-on labs. You bet. You, know, you bet. Absolutely. Go in and break something. All right. Yeah. Put it back together. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Thanks, right. guys. Thanks appreciate it. Thank you.